we're going to be a couple, a family. We need to live together. Let's make it happen. All I ever want is for you to be happy. I'm happy when I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want you to be my nurse so much as my naughty nurse. Let me. No, I can do it. Let's just go slow. Uh, wait, Dex, I don't think this is working. Dex, stop. Stop! Oh. Look, I was wondering if we could talk. Actually, now's not a very good time. Sorry, John. Look, look about this morning, I, I really yeah, feel like... about that, John. If you've come to apologise, then I accept and we could just put the whole thing behind us. And if I haven't? Then I'm going to have to ask you to please stay away from me. Marilyn, No, I... John, this is wrong and you know it. And I just won't be a party to this. I can't. And a oh, good day, mate. What are you doing over so early? Oh, here to pay the rent. Uh-huh. How's Romeo? Ah, uh, the doc reckons he'll have to stay in for a few more days yet. Oh, well, it's, uh, it's good he's getting the attention he needs. Yeah, yeah, young Indy's there by his bedside. I, I suppose it's not all bad. Oh, he's lucky, you know, he's got someone who cares enough about him to stick around. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, anyone for a cuppa? Actually, John was just leaving, weren't you, John? Yeah, I was. Uh, so, uh, I'll see you later. Yeah, see you, mate. Are you going to tell me what's going on there? I don't know what you mean. Well, Marilyn, a bloke with a furrowed brow like that's obviously just had a good kick in the teeth. If you don't mind, Mr Stewart, I'm, I'd really rather not talk about it. 